Hi Capricorn, I'm Brenda and I'm here again to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of March the 21st to the 28th, 2016. How are all my achievers? That's what I call all my Capricorns. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing and sharing these videos with your family members and friends out on social media. Welcome to all the new people that are requesting readings with me and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is a general reading and if you want clarity, accuracy and answers to questions, I recommend and invite you to go to my website. That is www.brendatero, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon, Capricorn. We start our week on Monday, Capricorn, with an air card. And you have been given the five of air. Air cards have to do with um, the justice and the injustice that comes into our lives. It brings that kind of drama and chaos around us. And communicating with individuals that do this with us, uh, that are bringing this into our circle. It often can have to do with legal issues too. So if some of you are dealing with uh, legal issues like separations, divorces, property settlement, uh, things like that, often these air cards refer to those situations. They're telling me that right now there is a choice that you need to make, but they refer to it unless you do all your homework and learn what you can from the situation and review everybody's motives. This choice will be an unwise choice. So please do your homework. Look into the background. Uh, what's going on behind the scenes before you jump in with both feet into that quicksand. Now, on Tuesday and Wednesday, you have been given back to back the renewal and the release card. And this came up identical to someone else, only theirs was Wednesday and Thursday. Yours is Tuesday and Wednesday. So this is interesting that I would get two exact cards right beside each other. So on Tuesday, Capricorn, you have been given the major card renewal. And that's basically about transitions and new perception and transformation, but it's also about judgment. Okay, now you had on Monday that card that had to do with the justice and things like that in your life. This is telling me that you need to review and reevaluate a situation that's going on in your life right now because they're telling me that it is the end of a project or, and you're at a crossroads and you're on the threshold of, um, of making an important change. And often it has to do with legal issues. Um, uh, that are happening around you, um, but know that these legal issues will be resolved favorably for you. If some of you are writing tests or exams, know that they're going to turn out in your favor as well. It's time to move on to in a new direction, my friend. So, uh, it, it, life doesn't serve you on this path if you don't move forward. Now, on Wednesday, crowning your week, you've been given the release card and basically they're very similar. Renewal is moving on for the better. Release is also moving on in a new direction and it's all about um, it's the end of a phase uh, or a project in your life and you're going to move forward and move on. Um, it's time to shake off the old and to allow the new to come in because you're at a point in your life where this isn't serving you. Um, it's, it's almost like spiritual transformation for some of you when you finally do this release and let it go. Maybe you're leaving a relationship, a house, a job, a country. Uh, and sometimes it can bring relief and other times it can begin, bring a little bit of sadness. So what you need to know is that you will be able to seek the support from your family and friends right now. This also, uh, as I said, it can be uh, the release of relationship. This is relationship transitions as well. On Thursday, Capricorn, you've been given an air card again, and you've had th you're going to have three in this reading. So there is a definite um, uh, thing going on here for you this week. This is the aid of air, and it tells me that some of you are dealing with uh, and communicating with people that are bringing injustice and uh, a little bit of challenge like that into your lives and, and legal issues for some of you. This is a feeling of being trapped, but they refer to this feeling of being trapped as an illusion. So please know that um, things are not as bad as you think they are and that you are able 
to uh, continue with your uh, self-confidence and take action. Because um, if you allow this illusion of feeling trapped to uh, to uh, completely uh, cover you, you're not going to be able to, to get up on that platform and be confident. Friday. There's another air card, the night of air. So now all of a sudden events are starting to happen really fast for some of you. You've been waiting for things to move on. It seems like forever. And now all of a sudden, wham, here everything is. Um, you need to take time to, when this event comes in really fast, to carefully review your options because if you do, it will be resolved creatively. Saturday, you've been given an earth card. Six of earth. Now, this is great. Things must have been working out in court for some of you and with the uh, communicating with people over these issues because now they show me that you are going to be receiving abundance in the form of gifts. Now, gifts can come in the form of money, they can come in the form of time, and they can come in the form of effort. And they show me also that for some of you uh, with this uh, release and renewal that you're moving on to a new job. They show me a new career on the horizon as well. Um, and some of you uh, may have applied for a loan and you've been waiting to find out how that was received. Know that it has been approved and that you will be getting that money. Now, on the other hand of this, those that have a debt or a loan they need to pay off, the resources are here now and you're going to be able to do that. At the end of the week on Sunday, you have the Queen of Fire. Now, fire cards have to do with self-development, risk-taking, sometimes adventure. Um, and setting our dreams and goals and thought patterns into motion. This is telling me now, some of you, you've had a lot to deal with this week. A lot of it had to do with legal issues here for some of you. And that now you're going to be able to spread your wings and fly, okay? Because um, uh, you, you have accomplished a lot. And they say that with exclamation marks. Um, don't underestimate, uh, underestimate yourself and your capabilities and your, um, your strength to do this, to move forward. Um, now you're going to be able to insert your own ingenuity and your own creativity and your own independence. At the end of this tarot reading, I did encompass that one oracle card. And today I chose the Daily Guidance from the Angels by Doreen Virtue. As you know, I use all Doreen Virtue's cards for my readings, and they gave me this one today. And the one they gave you today, my friend, is innocence. So this is what innocence represents. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give your angels your feelings of heaviness so that they can lighten your load. Give them your guilt, your anger, your blame that may shroud your loving outlook on life. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Boy, did, was this the right card for you? Release. Renewal. Moving on. Spreading your wings and being able to fly now free. Awesome. Let go of all those feelings. Ask the universe to take them, your angels, your guides, and let them go. I wish you a great remainder to today, Capricorn, and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote today, and the quote seems very appropriate for everyone this week, as they all do when my guides give them to me. Never let a stumble in the road be the end of the journey. See you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.